Yes, people, it is that time again for another episode of BDC. Yes, Bad Dating Chronicles, where once again, I get to talk to people and they tell me about their bad date, bad hookup, bad miscommunication, whatever it might be in their story in the sus world we love to call dating. So I would love to bring on my next guest, Mr. Eric. What's going on, sir? What's good, brother? How you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling blessed. A little tired, but other than that, I'm good. <laughs> hey, it's just, it's just cold weather, man. It's bringing us, you know, making us kind of a little, little sleepy, man. What's going Shit, on? it has to be. It has to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, sir, you know why you're here. Come on, please tell us. Uh, you're yeah. a BDC. All right. Well, let me shout out my podcast first. Uh, Random Thoughts with Eric G is my podcast. Um, mm -hmm. We got brand new episodes every week. I got a big series this year. Um, five different shows in one. Um, but hey, yo, so pretty much, man, I'm married now. I've been married for about, uh, two and a half years. Um, okay. But if I had to go back into my <laughs> my dating bag, uh, yo, so in my twenties, man, I thought that I can, I thought I can like I could be with any damn body in my twenties. In my twenties, mm -hmm. I was like, yo, I'm young. I have my own home. I was like, I was ready for the world. <laughs> so I had some fuck ups. Um, I remember this one time, man, this one girl, my brother, my brother hooked me up with. She was a college educated you know, girl. She was like, you know, I'm, I'm used to some hood rats. So she was this college educated girl. She was really smart. Um, and I remember she was like, yo, let's go to the movies. I'm like, yeah, 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 let's go to the movies, man. And mind you, back at that time, I was working two jobs. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I finally get some day, a day off to go to the movies with this girl, man. Me and her been talking for a while. I'm thinking yeah, we're going to hook up tonight. We get mm -hmm. to the movies, and soon as the, I mean, we had a great time. We laughed, we joking. As soon as the lights dim, <laughs> and the movie started, my ass was out. I, I, <laughs> I, I <laughs> as soon as the movie started, man, bro. As soon as the movie started, all, all, I, all I did was drink. I, I, I said, "Yo, it's gonna be a good movie." She's like, "Yeah." I said, <laughs> "Hey, yo." And you know, it, it wasn't just a regular sleep because I didn't just regular sleep, man. I was I laid on her and I saw slobbing on her shoulder. <laughs> like that's how you know. dude. <laughs> yeah, brother. Yeah, man. That was a one. That was a, that was a bad day, man. I, I see why she never called me again, man. We, it was bad. what? She, you never talked to her ever again after that? No, we we we, we I slowly like faded away. Like we was we was talking on the regular. Next thing, they were like. Yeah, I, I'm gonna talk to you later. I, I, I'm gonna see you later. We never seen each other again. Damn. Oh, man. Damn. Yeah, and you know, it's and like the um the interviews I have done with people previous, mm -hmm. and they said they've gone on dates. That's one thing I just don't understand. Why do the movies have to be something like as a first or second date? Because you don't know that person, and you're just sitting there. Yeah. No, 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 underless to you because I get it, but damn, no. something like that is terrible. I thought, you know, when you when you're in your early twenties, you're trying to go wherever cheap. So wherever yeah. movies, wherever date is gonna be cheap, you're trying to do that and make it seem like it's the biggest thing. So the movies is a cheap date. Yeah, it is. you know what I'm saying. And every guy was like, look, let's just do that, get it out the way. It's, it's, it's cool. We can eat later and talk, but we just having a date. Mm -hmm. um, but. <laughs> To me, that was the worst idea after working two jobs and going to college. I was like, as soon as, bro, I can still remember the movies. I remember what movie it was, like, I'm kind of old now, but it was this movie called Cop Out with um, Tracy Morgan yeah, and Bruce Willis. Mm -hmm. and, and I, I still had never seen that fucking I had this one girl that me and her was talking very good. I mean, I think I think we're doing good. I think we we, we hitting it off, right? Mm -hmm. She's telling me about her ex-boyfriend and how that um he wasn't a good guy blah blah blah, blah. i'm telling i just i'm like yo i'm just like i'm doing my thing we having a good time and we at my we, we was dating in my head for like a couple months we we're having real good time real good conversation we well, i mean we ain't got to the you know to the what's name place yet but we we getting there yeah so one one morning she calls me <laughs> i had been like 23 at the time one morning she calls me out the blue. She's like, Eric, I got great news. Like, Yo, what's up, baby? What's going on? She's like, me and my ex-boyfriend got back together. I was like, the fuck is you talking about, bitch? I said, like, the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh, man. And, dude, she was so, when, look, dude, she was so damn excited that her, her ex-boyfriend got back together. I was like, Yo. 
damn, I was friend zone. I didn't even know this shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, did y'all like do like regular dates or like was there ever something to where something romantic happened? Like you kissed her, y'all touched or whatever. Not to get too personal, but oh man, it's not a problem. Um, I mean, though, in my head, we was working our way up there. We was dating for like a couple weeks. So I'm, well, almost a month to change, and we like you know the close that we did, we a hug. She might kiss him on my cheek, whatever. But it was like we was we was spending a lot of good time together. You know what I'm saying? And she coming up to my house. We talking about sex. We talking about what's gonna happen next. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so I'm like in my head, I'm like, okay, we leading up to this. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Some girls, some girls are faster than others. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I said, she's a good girl. She wanna take her time. And when she called me that morning and told me she got back with her ex, I said, man, bitch, are you? <laughs> but. <laughs> It was it was crazy, man. It was crazy time, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Just, Dude, oh, oh. I, I really don't because you know. You know what? Hold on. That was, that was my reaction right there. That was my same fucking reaction. I don't know what the fuck you say? Like, like, congratulations? Like, the fuck you yeah, no. Hey, good job. Are you happy? <laughs> But it, it, my thing would be, well, what about us? Are we going to get together or are you just like, skip over that? Dude, I, I, just, I just hold the phone up. We're like, man, all right, talk to you later, man. See you later. <laughs> I, you know, I never get, I never get, so she, she texts me like, I guess she was, she could tell the disappointment in my voice. So she texts me like probably like an hour or two later. She's like, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. No problem. She's like, I shouldn't tell you that, should I? No, um, motherfuckers. No. <laughs> No, you dumb bitch. I don't want to hear that. I don't fucking want to know. I mean, I, you know, I, I, you know what? I, I said thank you, baby. Thank you for letting me know. Hope you have a good day. I'll talk to you mm -hmm. later. I never. And like I so said, we still cool. We are still cool to this day. But uh, I mean, I brought it up to her probably like a week or two ago because she had made this post on Facebook about how um how <laughs> how you how you ever been friend zone. I'm like, bitch, you friend zone me. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. No. Dating in your twenties <laughs> is a bitch. Dating in your twenties it is a bitch. I, I I had some great times. I had some great times though. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a great time. Yeah, I had I had this one. Um I was I was one of those ones like I was chasing this one girl, like really chasing her. And it was always bad time. Like we would talk, fall off, talk, fall off, talk, fall off. Mm -hmm. And then maybe like a few years ago, um, we had started talking again. And so, and then like everything just fell into place. But then we had sex and it was the worst shit ever I had. It, it was the trash oh, I ever had in my life. Come yes. On, man. Because you just know how, it's like there are some women and some men, they put so much emphasis on how good of a lover they are. Yeah, this mm. bitch... Mm -mm, no, no I'm, asking, then, I'm asking the question, bro. Like, what what's classified as good? What what would you classify as good pussy? A good fuck? Like, what, what would you classify? I would classify as it's just it's the feeling of it, the the feeling complete. Like, it's just mm. complete as you know the conversation is good, and then the love into it coincides. But no, it was just <laughs> trash. Like. <laughs> I couldn't understand it. And I'm thinking to myself, I wasted a good six years trying to go off for you Damn. on something that was just, yes, seriously. Damn. But it six was, years. It was, yeah, it was a low, low tide six years to where, you know, you be one something so bad, but you don't make it seem like, oh, this is what I'm praying for. But low key is like, I wanted to be with her because we had such good chemistry. We right. meshed so well. Nope. Right. Nope. I'll never forget. She had came over my place one night. We were talking, and then she was drinking, which that should have been a sign. She should have left then. But on, it, it happened. She came over. We were sitting there talking. She was like, "Well, I'm ready." I said, "Well, I've been ready. I just been waiting on you, so <laughs> I don't know what you're <laughs> what you're getting at." And then we went and did it, and it was just trash. And then like she slept in my place, but then she was snoring like a grown ass nigga. I thought I was sleeping next to my dad because it was just that bad. Well, I learned, what I learned in my early 20s, man, one thing I did learn in my early 20s was if she's snoring like that, that means you did a good job. You put her to sleep. Uh -uh. She, 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 nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. I got halfway through it. I'm like, I can't even do this anymore. This is a travesty to my own dick. I was like, nope, can't do it. Sorry. 
it has it has been times where I was like in the middle of doing them, like man, yo, this I need to just stop. <laughs> I just need to stop. But you know, in your head, like I'm just gonna finish it on the finish it on out and just. I, like I said, like I said, in my 20s, man, I had my playboys, my playboy time. Where I had girls I was knocking down, doing my thing, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I had my times like, yo, there's some girls are like, yo, what the fuck is I'm thinking? Like, what the fuck is? Um, I had this one girl. She was a, <laughs> she was kind of ratchet. She was kind of ratchet. You know what I'm saying? And um, she she knew me from my ex girlfriend though. That's the thing. She knew me from my ex girlfriend. And she was like, is y'all still dating him? Like, no, no, I'm not dating nobody. And at this time, y'all, I was in my pretty boy stage. I used to have long dreads. I was in my little zone. And um, so she's like, is you and sister such, such dating? I'm like, no, I'm not, no, we're not dating. She's like, well, can I can I get your number? I'm like, no, just um, uh, just hit me up on Instagram and um we'll go from there. Mm-hmm. So cool. We we we're going back and forth. So I know she's ready, she's ready to do the thing. So she she tells me to come to her house. She stays in this um this trailer park. I'm thinking this is about somebody to go down. So she didn't let me know that she stayed with her parents. She don't let me know that she stayed with her parents. So we get to the house. So first of all, I feel like I'm sneaking into her house. I'm a grown ass man sneaking into this girl's house. And I'm sitting there and she like she's so her parents is at work. She like, you mm-hmm. come on to the house, whatever. I get to the house, we get to the trailer. And the way their trailer set up is like the next door trailer is like right up on her house. So it's like a car length, a car length between her trailer and the next trailer. Yep. So so she's like, well, park behind the house. Park behind the house. So I'm basically parking in somebody's front yard. Okay. I get there, I get in the house, man. And the first thing she tell when I walk the door is, Oh, you want some Oodles noodles? You want some, some Oodles noodles? Like, yeah. And I was like, No, I don't want no Oodles noodles. I'm I'm good. She's like, she's like, you know, she's like, well. That's all I got. I got to know you want to come in the bedroom and, and watch and watch TV with me. I'm like, I'm like, sure. That's what I'm thinking. Of. That's what I'm here for. I get there. The first thing she said out her mouth, and not this the honest guy truth. She was like, "You got some Hennessy." I'm like, "You invited me over here. You have <laughs> Hennessy. You you told me to come over here, dude." We sat in that we sat in that room while her, while she eating that big old plate of <laughs> that big old plate of oodles, uh, oodles noodles. <laughs> Well, my bad. I'm gonna say it the correct way. If y'all don't know who oodles and noodles is, it's top ramen. That's what mm-hmm. Yeah. She in, that, she in this big old plate, this big old stop. It's like a a pie pan plate uh, of, of of beef oodles and noodles. And uh, she's sitting there looking at me. I'm like, okay, we, this is about to happen. It never happened. She just stood there the whole time, telling me about how she want some liquor and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, you know what, man. Yeah, I gotta go home. Yeah. I gotta go home. Um, yeah, I gotta get. I gotta. I gotta get up, man. I gotta. I gotta I'm tired, man. I gotta go. She like. She like. Okay, cool. You coming back? I'm like. Sorry, yeah, not. yeah. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be oh, back over no. here. <laughs> here's the dumb shit. Here's the dumb shit. Here's the dumb shit. I remember I text. I text my cousin at the time. I was like, Yo, me and this dead, me and this girl right here. La 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 la. He said, Oh yeah. Oh, she's a big time hoe, man. Yo, we used to flip her back in the day. I'm like. Yeah, I'm good, man. That's my cue for me to go on to the house. I'm... My worst hookups ever, and it's even Bro. after my college days. I had met this one girl at a bar, this white girl, and oh, I hit her in the car. And then they said, "No, I found out she was a homeless stripper." Yeah, a homeless stripper. A homeless. She is she a homeless stripper? Maybe she's bad at her job. Go ahead. Yes, she was a homeless stripper. Okay. That was the okay. last time I slept with a white girl. The last time. I haven't since. But I'm like, damn, I must really be falling off time. So I'm knocking off white homeless strippers. I mean, she was bad, well, but it just like. Was all- yeah, I'm not going to lie. It was. Uh huh. Yep, go. she knew what there she was go. doing. Yep, she rode me like sea biscuit in that backseat. You know, Let me you know why? You know why? Because she got struggle in her pussy. That's why. That struggle mm-hmm. in that pussy. <laughs> Brought you home, bro. Yeah, it That's, really brought me home. Well, she, yo, she was riding. She was riding you for a paycheck. You hear me? She was riding. <laughs> then for some reason, I never remember how she got my number. She was like, "Hey, Will, can we like hang out?" I'm like, "Okay, sure." So I remember picking her up and then her friend, and then I think we went to like McDonald's or Burger King, and I bought her and her friend a sandwich, and I had never seen her ever again after that. That is crazy. So, you, yes, yeah, so I feel like I was giving back for a Big Mac. Yep. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's sweet. That's 
ro- that's romantic. I'm gonna put nobody said that's some romantic shit, man. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's romantic, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, yo, the, the, the ones the, the motherfuckers is homeless and, and two things I learned in my life for real. People that's homeless and the ugliest people you meet is the best fuck you ever had. Like, do you understand? Like I don't know. I haven't really like bagged a lot of uh, ugly ones. I could say. Chandler, no, let me tell you. Uh, you gonna hit, You gotta hit at least one ugly chick, and you be like, "Yeah, you know what? Big man was right." I now, don't you, know about that. E. Hey, will will let me tell you. You gotta do at least one time. You sing. You can do it. Do it one time for the culture. Just go ahead. For the culture. <laughs> do it for the culture, will. You tripping, will, just nigga. Will just do it for the culture. When I tell you it's going to be the best sloppy top you ever had in your damn life, you no, it's going to be so good. We, I promise you, it's going to be so good, you're going to forget that she's ugly. You're going to take her out in the daytime. It's going to be that good. I, I don't I don't want a little ugly. I'll pass on that one. I, I got a, I got a reputation. My standards, you have to look good, just as, as oh, I do. Shit. So. Fuck, fuck that. You're going to have one ugly chick in your life. you can have one, that, and your guys will be like, what the fuck is you seeing her, her pussy? I promise you, it's going to be the best you ever had. I'm past, bro. I'm past. I'm past. I'm done. Will. I'm done. <laughs> we'll do it for the culture. The culture? Shit. I ain't doing shit for the culture. It's only for myself. I'm an individual out here. I'm not a team hey, player. Bro. Hey, bro. I'm, t- I'm just trying to-, I'm trying to put you on the free game. Because nah. the free game is... <laughs> no, that, that's game you keep yourself. I understand you're married, but you know what? Don't be sharing that with anybody else. Don't do it. Oh, man, look. I'm, look, look, if y'all are listening to me, two things you need to, you're gonna have you gonna have you gotta get a big chick. Okay. A, a big pretty a big pretty chick, the one who smells like powder. She gotta smell like powder in her, in her titties. Her titties gotta smell like powder. Yep. You need yep. that. You need a yep. you need a chick. You need a chick that, that's only good at, at late nights. I'm telling you, them late night chicks. Um well okay. being honest, man, we like hold on. I just met you, Will, but I feel like we're friends. I can tell you the truth. Now, you want me to lie to you? <laughs> hey, no, man. You you speak your truth. Go ahead. I am not stifling your growth at all. I'm not going to muzzle you. Not well, one bit. She's going to she gonna have you she gonna have you growing ways you would never believe, Will. Yeah, having me growing out and leaving. I don't want to deal with that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have knocked a, a pretty big chick. I don't think she was big. She was like one of those small BBWs to where she was like a size 11, size 12. So she was just on the cusp. Yeah, but she wasn't like 15 plus. But no, I'm not doing no big girl. Uh-uh. Oh, nah. come on. See, why is, so why is all these young dudes so picky about, about, about these women nowadays, man? It's not about nothing being picky. Wrong. That's just like too much meat, too much size. That's like, the, the best part, Will. Coming from a Wait, married on, man. Okay. Okay, hold up. I'm telling you because I've been there and I've done it. I've been through it all. I'm telling you what I know. You know why, you know why it's the best part, Will? Because why? her thighs are rubbing together. Her thighs are rubbing together. That means she's, she's marinating it right now for you. That heat from them thighs is cooking. That I'm telling you, you're gonna be like, this is like apple pie. I'm telling you the truth. This is gonna be the best. You know? I'll, I'll, I'll pass on that, brother. Thank you. Thank you so I'll much. No, thank you. No, thank you. Y'all, y'all, ladies, ladies. Look, look, look. Will ain't talking about shit. He's saying that you can be online. Late nights, y'all. Call Will up. I promise you. Don't call Will. No, no. Don't I do that. You make it. You'll cross his eyes up. No, you won't. Mm-mm. I won't even try. <laughs> won't even try. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Oh, Sorry, right. Man. So, you got anything else to add to the BDC Chronicles, Mr. Eric? Oh, man. You know what, man? I I had some, some crazy experiences, but uh, those are, I'd say, my top crazy. I have, I have you know what I'm saying, I had some, a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, but those are my top, those would be my top crazy experience that I had. Those three. Interesting. Just interesting. Okay, sir. Well, I will give you 30 seconds of FaceTime so you can go ahead and get your self-promotion on with your podcast. Please. Floor is yours. Not a, not a problem. Hey, y'all. This is your little brother, Eric G, from the podcast Random Thoughts <clears throat> with Eric G. I'm available on all platforms and on YouTube. I'm also looking out for my other series, um, The Truth, um, Words to the Wise, and uh, Local Spotlight Artists, where I interview a lot of musicians. And um, I need all BBWs and chicks who's facially challenged to get at wheel. He will get you. I'll holler at you later. Thank you so much, Eric. I appreciate it. 
Yes, folks, this has been another episode of Bad Dating Chronicles with my guest, Miss Eric, Mr. Eric G. I always call you Mrs. <laughs> hey, don't do that. Don't do it. Yes, call yes. That, 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 that late night chick, call her Mrs. And I'm not Wait. calling her nothing. I even call her. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, so make sure you go ahead and you check out my guest, Eric G, on all podcasts platforms no matter where he's at also all his information will be down below so you can be able to reach him and get a hold of him and see what he's all about so this has been another episode of bad dating chronicles here on the second look network here on youtube make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more also go check out the other episodes that i have previously done so this is your host will that's my guest eric been a pleasure speaking to y'all y'all take Thank care you, talk to y'all soon